Good day, sir. My name is Desimi Imbaen, and this is my human rights education discussion. First is the natural rights. So when we say natural rights, it is the God-given rights or acknowledged by everybody to be morally good. And it is the unwritten but prevail as norms of the society. Second is the categories of human rights. So when we say categories of human rights, it is the fundamental freedom and political rights. And also the freedom of conscience and religion, freedom of thought, belief, opinion, and expression, freedom of the press and communication, freedom of peaceful assembly, and freedom of association. So when we see categories of human rights, so we have the, as a people, we have the rights uh, to, to have our thoughts and belief and opinion and also our expression. So no one can take that our human rights. Sec third is the rights of equality. So it is also known as the right against discrimination. So no one can discriminate us. And also everyone is equal before the law and it is entitled to equal protection or the equal benefit of the law. And also protection on the ground of sex, race, religion, ethnic and origin, age, marital status, and political and social condition. And also, we have a utilitarian theory. So, when we see utilitarian theory, it is uh, everyone is counted equally but not treated equally. Every human decision was motivated by some calculation of pleasure and pain. So, in the ICSCR, it is known as the International Covenant on Economic, Social, and Cultural Rights. It is the Committee on Economic and Social and Cultural Rights. Uh, reviews the state's parties or program. So the ICCPR or the International Covenant on Civil and Political Rights, it is the Human Rights Committee, an independent body of expert. So in Article 10, which uh, say that suggests to the General Assembly to discuss any matter within the scope of the Charter which may concern human rights. So Article 13 state that which directs the task of initiating studies and recommendation for the purpose of assisting in the realization of human rights and fundamental freedom. So theory based on equality and respect of human dignity, the recognition of individual rights in the enjoyment of the basis freedoms such as freedom of speech, fair trial and access to courts, or the government must treat all their citizens equally. So theories of justice. So when we see theories of justice, it is that each person pa each person passes an violability founded in justice. The rights uh, secured for justice are not subject to political bargaining or to, or to social interest. So each person has equal rights to the whole system of liberties. So natural law theory. So first seems that the conduct of men must always conform to the law of nature. So originated from the Stoics and elaborated by Greek philosopher and later by ancient Roman law jurist. Uh, Second is the minority group rights. So it is the protection of the ethnic, linguistic, and religious minority. And the rights of self-determination, it is the right of people to be free from colonial rule, right of people to decide their own destiny. So, wala gyo mas kikinsa nga maka kuan sa imuhang self determination because right man na nimo, right man na to nga as a human. So, workers' right, right to association or right to organize union guarantee of minimum wages and other support. Aboriginal rights are associated with the right of indigenous cultural tribes or communities. So, uh, Aboriginal rights, so mo ni siya ang kaning uh, rights sa mga indigenous people nga unsan eh, kanang mag-festival sila or kaning mag-held na sila yung mga mga held nga event, then even dili ka indigenous so need good ni mo siya nga pakisamahan sila. Okay, mo man na ilahang ano, kuan sa ilahang tribes or ilahang culture. And reproductive right, it is the right to found a family and bear children. Right to family planning. So, 
right or reprodu reproductive right so mao ni siya nga kaning walay makabuot sa imong ha kung ikaw is mangita o oh, oh, mag build kag imong family then mag unsa ni mag grow o oh, daghay kibali um bear children walay makabuot sa imong ha kung pila ka buok imong anak kon so naapod mo you right nga kuan mag na mo mag decision nga kaning mag family planning mo So mobility rights to uh, you have the right to travel and right to return to one's country freedom of movements within the country so as a per, as a human so we have the right to travel anywhere and we have the right also to return to our country for example is kita mo at kita og Japan so naapod tayo rights nga mobalik ra pud sa Philippines so legal rights Uh, freedom from arbitrary arrest and detention, right to counsel, right to fair and public trial. And also we have the democratic right, right to vote and participate in the electoral process, right to participate in public or govern, government affairs. So as a democratic right, so we have the right to vote. So walay makakuhaan sa imuha kay imuha man ako galingon so dapat na kay right to vote nga mupili gid kung kinsa mo yung mas deserving ang nga position. And inherent, not granted by any person or authority. And we have also the indivisible or not capable of being divided. And fundamental, without the the life and dignity of man will be meaningless. And we have the imprescriptible that cannot be lost even if man fails to use, to assert the even by long passage of time. And also the interdependent. The fulfillment or exercise of one cannot be had without the realization of the other. And inalienable, cannot be rightfully taken away from our free individuals, cannot be given away or for, forfeited. So human rights principle is the dignity of man and human life is inviolable. It's statutory right which are provided by law, promulgated by the lawmaking body. And uh, collective rights, also called people's right or solidarity rights, uh, rights to rights of society, those that can be enjoyed only uh, company with others. So the absolute or non-derogable rights, those that cannot be suspended, nor taken away, nor restricted, limited even in extreme emergency, and even if the government invokes national security. And also the third generation that covers collective rights. That's all, thank you.